All right, we talked about how databases model information. Now let's talk about how databases store information. When talking about storing information, let's be a little bit more specific than just saying storing. Let's say that databases, relational databases in particular, are capable of storing. And when they store, they're either adding information, deleting information, or changing information. So what gets added, deleted, or changed? So let me, let me add one thing from before that, uh, that I, I neglected to really focus on, and that's the idea that tables have rows and columns, and uh, tables have rows and columns, right? In each row is one item of information. So we talked about before that we have information types, information attributes, information values, and information items. The item of information is one row in the database, one row in the table. And as I add new rows, I'm adding new items of information. So remember, we said, for example, that uh, a person in Facebook is an item of information. Your name, your address, your birthday, etc., etc. Now look at that people table. Inside the people table is exactly that same thing. It's one person inside of Facebook. And so that's the idea, that a row of information, also called a record, and I'm sorry for yet another vocabulary word. I'll, I'll try to stay with the word row, even though you'll hear often in your life, you'll hear the word record. I'll try to stay with the word row. Um, one row of information is one item of information, is one particular person. The type is, the, is a person in general, but the type doesn't really have information about you in it. The item has information about you. So if that's, if that's um, hard to understand, go over it with your TA or come back and, and talk to me about it and we'll, we'll go over that further. At any rate, when you add information to the database, you add one row. You add one row of information, you're adding one item of information, you can also delete one item of information. So you get rid of your Facebook account and they delete your people record, right? They delete your people row. Um, or you can change, or let, so, so you can either add or delete entire rows, entire items. You can also add or delete values. So I can put, you know, um, I didn't specify my birthday the first time I went into Facebook and now I go into Facebook and I specify my birthday. I've added my birthday to the column inside the row that's the item for me, okay? Or I can delete that value because I don't want it in there anymore. Or I can change that value. I can go in and change my birthday because I typed it wrong the first time or whatever. Or I change my address because I moved, right? Or I change my current, you know, um, uh, girlfriend because I changed my girlfriend or whatever it is on Facebook. Okay, so, um, uh, what we, so storing information breaks down to adding, deleting, and changing. You can add or delete whole rows. You can add or delete the values inside of rows, those columns, or you can just change the column. You can change it from A to B. Okay, and what I have on the screen here is just a little piece of, uh, a little piece of some application, a piece of user interface. And that piece of user interface shows this idea of adding, updating, and deleting records. And in this case, um, they, uh, uh, they, it looks like they created a new record here. So you filled in the box, the box has all the values, you click OK, and those values then create a new row in the database, and we have um, more information in the database. We've added information to the database. Okay, so databases store information by adding, deleting, or updating that information or changing that information.